Next trend, disruptive distribution. This one is all about shifting business models and how the way that we do business is changing and what that means. So buying mattresses online. And there's this whole conspiracy theory online about like why are there so many mattress stores, right? Now, if you've read about this conspiracy theory, um, I don't have the answers, but I believe in that theory. <laughs> I believe in it. So go Google it if you don't know. But there's all of these mattress manufacturers that say, look, we can make a mattress that's perfectly comfortable. We can shrink wrap it, right? So we can take all the air out. We can roll it in a box. And now we can deliver it to your home. And you don't need three guys to carry it up the stairs around the corner. And you don't have to strap it to the roof of your car. And all the stuff that we remember that we, everybody hated about buying a mattress can eliminate all of that. And it works for them. There's this concept with Deliveroo of kitchen-only restaurants. So when people want to order food for takeout, what if we had restaurants that just made the food and sent it out for delivery? Totally simplifies the concept, right? Because now you, if you're a chef or if you want to operate a kitchen but you don't want to deal with the whole restaurant part of the business, now you can simplify. For a long time, McDonald's would train their managers this way, right? If you wanted to own a McDonald's and run a McDonald's, the first place you'd get trained is at the McDonald's that was inside of the Target because that didn't have a drive through So you could simplify the experience. So this is like taking that concept and saying, well, let's have these kitchen-only restaurants because people want to order the food and get it delivered at home, and let's just do that. Let's just do that. Flex is just like an Airbnb for warehouse space because a lot of warehouse space gets used for a certain period of time. I mean, think about the, how many seasonal holidays we have. So we have Halloween, for example, with lots of costumes. So all these costumes are stored up, and then what happens on Halloween? Everybody buys them, they go out, and that warehouse space sits empty. So here's a platform that says, well, let's connect people who need warehouse space with the space that's available, put them together. Really smart. Here's a totally reimagined camera service that says, look, you don't have to pay for the camera. We'll give you the camera. We'll rent you the camera for free. And you pay a dollar per photo for the photos that you want us to fix. And the photo on the left is the photo you actually took, and the one on the right is the one they fixed up for you. So they make you look like a superstar photographer. This is better than Instagram for chat Snapchat filters. <laughs> Right, because it's actually being, it's done by machines still, I think. But look at the quality difference. And you just pay a dollar for every photo and you look like a superstar when you post these. People are like, wow, you must be an amazing photographer. You say, yes, I am, because of this. In the media business, all of these media companies have tried at some point, some of these are current, some of them are not, but they've tried at some point to turn into content studios because a lot of the media companies are looking around and saying, hey, we have great writers, we have amazing photographers, we have great videographers, and all these brands are trying to create this content. Why don't we just license our people to start creating stuff? Because that's what other companies are doing. And so now this line between media companies and marketing agencies and content development firms is all like starting to blur, right? And consulting companies want to be marketing agencies, and marketing agencies want to be consulting companies. And it's all getting mixed up because those lines are totally different. That's the disruption that's happening. And so the question here is how do you take that and start to rethink your business model, start to rethink how you're promoting? to start to take advantage of that instead of being disrupted, right? We want to take advantage of disruption, not be disrupted by it.